Hello and welcome in. Mark here, aka the Markster. This is video number 59 in the Free Cat series. In the last four videos, we've been going over these additive features in part design. Today I'm going to go over these four equivalent features, subtractive features in part design. So today I'm using 0 0.19 revision number 20221. This is a development release on Windows 10. I'm hesitant even to make this video because these uh, these features are so similar to each other. The pad and the pocket basically the same thing except the pocket removes material and the pad adds material. Revolution and groove basically the same exact thing. The only difference being the groove removes material. Same for the additive uh, loft, subtractive loft, additive sweep and subtractive sweep. Let's, for the sake of completeness, let's cover these anyway. And I'm just going to run through quickly and uh, probably end up referring you to the earlier videos if you want more details. So I'm just going to put a hexagon there. I'm going to pad it to have something to work with. And now let's look at the pocket. Create a new sketch, XY plane. Let's pocket that. So we can go symmetric to the plane. In which case we're pocketing, in this case, two and a half millimeters in both directions. Of course, without any material in this direction, there's no uh, effect and reversed goes in the opposite direction of course we have dimension, we have two dimensions we have up to face, same as with the pad, we have to first, same as in the pad, through all is different through all is through the entire object no matter how uh, deep it is of course, we're going in the wrong direction. We put reverse to true. Now you see it pocketed through the entire object. So with pad, we have we have to last the first up to face. And with pocket, we have through all to first up to face. So through all is in here instead of to last face it does the same thing through all just pockets up all the way to the last face in that direction <clears throat> through all is preferable to setting a dimension if you know you want to go all the way through because later on if you change for example, if we had said go 10 millimeters, which is the current pad thickness, and later decided to change this to 12 millimeters pad, then that pocket would no longer go all the way through, which might or might not be what you're wanting. Now let's look at revolve uh, groove, which is revolution. It's the opposite of the revolution. 
I'll put this one on the XZ plane. Let's see if we can make a groove there. It might not catch this corner, in which case we'll have multiple solids, which won't be good. It did catch it. Make it a little bit smaller. See, now it did not catch all those corners and that's why we have this bad result so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna delete this groove and make a revolve instead just to show you what's going on here so we have by cutting out this part that we just added by cutting out this groove which is what you're doing you're, you're making a revolve and you're cutting it out you're making a revolution and cutting it out but because that's going to result in multiple solids if we cut this part out that's why we're getting this bad result with only the one of these visible we're not getting an error we're just getting a bad result. Let's modify this sketch again. And this time I'm going to leave it not quite all the way up. So this should give us a good result with the groove. You see, because now these parts that had been separate solids are now connected to this bottom or top actually it wasn't cut out with the groove <clears throat> so that's something to be able to look out for if you do a groove and you get some really unexpected result where did all my pieces go that's what's going on you, you're leaving multiple solids and part design just can't manage multiple solids in the same body at this time. Aside from that, we have the same options. We can choose different references. We can select uh, an arbitrary reference. We can have construction mode edges that can be used as the axis of revolution. I had a visitor and kind of forgot where where I left off at. So, um, just keep in mind with that groove, if it, if it generates multiple solids, it's going to be problematic in, in almost every case. Now let's look at the uh, subtractive sweep. Well, let's do the loft. Do them in order. I'm going to come back to this sketch a little bit later and use that for the sweep. Uh, let's make a sketch on the XY plane. This will be our bottom sketch for the subtractive loft. And I'll just make a rectangle right here, kind of a small one. And another sketch, XY plane. This time I'm going to move the sketch up uh -oh. problem is I had to reset my internet connection so it gave me that error all right um, I'm 
I'm going to move sketch four. in the Z direction. Or pad dock length. So that's going to put it on top of that first pad. That's the other sketch. And I'm just going to make a little bigger rectangle here. And then we'll loft between these with a subtractive loft. You see how it's on the other pad? So if I change this pad length, the other, the other sketch, you see it moves with it. So rather than attach directly to that face, I attach to the XY plane and then move the sketch so that as the, if this pad changes, that sketch is going to stay on that, on that same plane. And I'm avoiding topological naming issues. All right, let's do our subjective loft. Same thing as an additive loft. The only difference we're taking away instead of adding. We get that error because we had not yet selected that second section. Alright, now let's do the sweep. I'll reuse this sketch. And this will be the subtractive sweep. And here I'm going to use I'm going to use the sketch edges. And we'll make this a rounded corner transition. You see how it's adding fillets to it? And this is the right right corner where you get these sharp turns. All the same options as in the additive sweep. So go back and watch that one. If you want more details on these. So the upshot of this is pad and pocket are the same thing. Revolution, groove, same thing. Loft, subtractive, same thing. Sweep, subtractive, sweep, same thing. So the only difference really is you're adding instead of removing or you were removing instead of adding I should say and if you end up with multiple solids it looks like this these subtractive features might not give you the same useful error messages that these additive features give you if your operation results in multiple solids which are really not supported in part design Well, that's going to be it for today. I thank you for watching, and as always, have a great day.